my parents didn't have any money to, you know, give me money for a car or, you know, if I wanted to do anything, it was all up to me. I started working when I was 14 at a strawberry farm. Then I was a chick at Chick at Target. You do whatever you can to raise money so you can do stuff. But it's interesting now when you have kids where, you know, we've got a little bit more money behind us than my parents had. And so they have a different opportunity. However, looking at them, you know, I don't know what I've done wrong, right or wrong. We don't fund our kids at all for the cars. We pay half the cars. Mm. We didn't just buy them a car. They know that once they're out under our wing, that they've always got a room here, but mm. we don't fund them. One of my sons is, is house sharing, like any other university kid does, right? And he has to save and scrimp and we don't give him any money for it. The oldest son actually well, one time lived on the streets because he was sort of finding his way and I was trying to fix it and the only thing I could do was to fix him was to stop helping him, right? <laughs> that was wow. the best thing I could possibly do for him was to stop helping him and he had to go through his own journey. You know, now he's got his own bookshop, doesn't earn much money, but he's really happy and he's got his family and he's, you know, gold another son has found a profession in youtubing and is killing it i think one day i'm going to need a loan from him like he's <laughs> killing it and you know talia my daughter is is on her own journey you know i think about success and when i sit around this this table that we're here today and we're playing cards and we're laughing and we're sharing stories and everyone really likes each other despite the fact that one's a hippie and one's an entrepreneur and one's a surfer dude i don't know what i've done right but i've done something right to have a really beautiful family